It is Monday, uh, January 16th, Martin Luther King Day. Um, welcome to all of you who are taking the time to, to hop on today. Uh, today I'm going to be um, explaining what I'm working on. And this will be, uh, you know, once a month or something, I'll kind of give you an update about what I'm working on. I think this one will be an interesting um, chat also because I'm going to give you a little glimpse into my business um, and some of the challenges of being a creative entrepreneur. So hello, everybody. It's great to see you. Bonnie in uh, Southern, Southern California, soggy Southern California. I am actually hopping on a plane this afternoon to head your way. <laughs> I'm going to Road to California and I'll be teaching there. So um, any of you who will be in my classes, I look forward to meeting you in person. And uh, hello from Nova Scotia, from Texas. Karen, hello, everybody. It's great to have you join me. Okay, so um, what I am working on uh, let me show you. You can kind of see these roosters in the background. Amelia, will you come and... Well, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. Well, okay. So you've seen a few of these that I've been working on. And actually, yes, I'm going to have you help me get these down real quick so I can talk about them. So I am having a ball working on a series of chickens and roosters. Here they are, kind of beautiful, fun, very simple collages. They are, I'm updating my rooster pattern. So one of my original patterns was a rooster pattern. And I had so much fun doing one, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a series of these. So here they are. Now, along with these, I am... Uh, creating a line of fabric to go with them so that I can see what everything is going to look like. I'm laying it all out and um, I'm designing my own fabric to go with them. So Amelia and I are launching a new fabric company. I'm not going to say when anything is going to be available, but that's what we're working on behind the scenes. So that's kind of a big deal. Um, and I want to explain to you why we're doing this as if I don't have enough on my plate. <laughs> um, so I am having a hard time being able to launch a design and keep the fabric that I've used for fussy cutting or for the background in stock. Many of you have noticed that a lot of our products sell out and we um, then run out of the fabric and are not able to provide the exact fabric that I've used. So a really good example is the queen bee kit that I made for my, you know, I made that darling queen bee, queen bee uh, pillow for my mom. And I used some just absolutely exquisite, beautiful fabric that I had and I loved it. And I knew I didn't have very much of it left but I had enough to make a few kits, which is what we did. And the kits sold out and one piece of fabric has been discontinued and I haven't been able to acquire it again. I actually bought the last little bit of yardage on Etsy. And um, so I can't get it anymore. So I don't feel like I can sell that kit unless I rework it with different fabric. This has happened to us many, many times where I create something with the fabric that I have in front of me and um, and then we run out of even just one piece or two pieces of that fabric and I don't feel like I can sell it as I've designed it. And so that is a, a perpetual problem that we keep running into and um, I just don't see the fabric that I want to use for my collages in very much abundance in the market right now. You know, I, I curate my own fabric bundles and I buy a lot of fabric. I have a lot of fabric that I use uh, for my bundles and for the, anything that I design, I use the fabric that I've curated. But so I'm very familiar with the fabric that's in the marketplace. 
and I just don't see what I want to use. Um, so I'm designing it and I feel confident in this new venture because that's actually how I got started in the quilt industry. Many of you probably didn't know that, that I began as a fabric designer for Riley Blake Designs. And I did that for a few years. Um, I actually have designed, I designed about 15 collections for them. And I was not even a quilter before I was designing fabric. I kind of came at this industry as a designer and an artist and um, didn't really begin quilting until after I had acquired 300 bolts of fabric of my own fabric that I designed. And then I started quilting and I realized, um, oh, I have a few things to learn about making quilts. Well, now I've been making quilts for a long time and especially collage quilts. And I feel like I know precisely what I want to use and the type of fabric that I like and that I'm looking for. And I think this will be a really fun, exciting thing for me to, to work on. So every day for the past several weeks, I've been working on fabric design. So there you go. I will share more with you down the road as we as I get things um, a little closer to launch. But anyway, so that's that's the scoop. That's the one big thing that I've been working on. Um, and it and it kind of started with these roosters and the inability to, uh, well, and with the queen bee kit and other kits, it's been difficult to stay, you know, to run out of fabric. So this way we won't. Um, Okay, so the other things that I am working on in my studio, um, Amelia and I have um, been coordinating and going through every single pattern and assessing that pattern. Um, it's really, really important for me that my patterns continue to improve and become better patterns for anybody that wants to make a collage quilt. I really want people to have success with my patterns. And I think there are some of the patterns that could be improved. So that's another thing that we will be, um, we're gonna be discontinuing some patterns um, as they sell out and other patterns we will, I will be updating them, um, tweaking the design a little bit and tweaking the gray tone design a little bit so that it so they're a little more um just a little more of what i think they should be so the patterns some of the patterns that we talked about tweaking Amelia, you're gonna have to refresh my memory um sublime okay so sublime is one of the patterns that i i really really love that design but i'm going to be updating that slightly. So Sublime is a good one that we're going to be updating. Mayday. Mayday. So one of you um, had a really, really great suggestion that Mayday should be on a foundation panel. And I think that's brilliant. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to discontinue the Mayday pattern as a parchment paper, parchment pressing pattern. And we're going to turn that into uh, foundation panel and probably scale it down just slightly. Um, so that's a that's one that I'm really excited about. Woodlands. Woodlands, yes, so woodlands. So the woodlands pattern. Um, I really love all of the elements in the woodlands pattern, but as many of you will notice who have purchased the pattern, I didn't incorporate the bunny rabbit, which is part of the pattern, into the quilt. So I want to rework the quilt. Um, I want to just, I have a vision of what I want that to look like. And um, so I'm going to be reworking that one as well. Anything else that we're going to consider updating? June Bloom. June Bloom is another one. I would really like to update that pattern. While I love, I love that one, there are a few tweaks to the design that I want to make. So um, those are some of the patterns that we're going to be working on updating. And um, along with 
the fabrics fabric uh, collection that I'm working on. Um, pretty soon, I expect the red stag plaid quilt to be finished. It's at the uh, quilter right now. So as soon as I get that back and I can take some uh, photography, that pattern will be, I I've started writing it, but I want to just make sure we've got everything right for that. And then we'll be launching that within, I'd say, by the end of the month. So if anybody's interested in that stag pattern, that will be coming up. Um, <clears throat> what else? Um, anything else that we're working on? Someone asked what patterns we're retiring. Oh, the patterns that we'll be retiring. They're already sold out anyways, but. Yeah, they're already sold out. So we're going to be retiring cactus, cactus, horse, grizzly, grizzly adoration. Yeah. Anything else? Long. No. Okay, so those are the those are the patterns that we're retiring. Oh, one other that I want to rework is the orchid pattern. Oh yeah. So orchid is available as a download right now, and that one is just a really easy, good beginner pattern that looks pretty sophisticated. And so I I want to relaunch that. I want to change the background and just make it beautiful. So. Um, those are, that's kind of what's going on with me. Now, obviously I'm not going to get all this done in the first quarter. <laughs> There's just too much, too much happening, but those are my goals. So those are my new year's goals. Um, and now I'm going to share with you, um, Amelia, do you want to just kind of be moderating comments? And uh, as, as you see a comment come in, I'll address it. But I, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am heading to Road to California um, at three o'clock today. I'm going to go hop on a plane. I'm just going to pack everything up um, after this video and get ready to leave. So I thought I'd just share what I'm going to be teaching at Road to California. Um, number one, the Cardinal. I love this little design. Um, we did just release a bunch more of these that of the kit so the entire kit contains an assortment of the fabric for the cardinal for the bird and the background um, so this is one that i'm teaching in california that's a good beginner confident beginner project uh, the other quilts that i will be teaching let's see some of my very favorites. I'm really excited about these. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Okay. So I'll be teaching the Wee Green Beasties pattern. This is, these are all, I think, my favorites. I don't know. <laughs> I, um, I only launch a pattern that I really like or a quilt that I really like, but I love this one. So Wee Green Beasties is a class that I'm teaching at Road to California. This is an intermediate to advanced project. Um, then I will be teaching the Love Always project. This is, uh, again, just a really fun, easy beginner pattern that's appropriate for Valentine's Day. So this is available on my website as a download right now. Um, and that's a quick project. I will be teaching the little old lady in the shoe, this nursery rhyme quilt. And this is more of an intermediate pattern as well. This is a foundation panel. Everything else so far that I've showed you is a parchment pressing. And then the final quilt that I'll be teaching, again, probably one of, just one of my favorites, is Octopus Garden. And this is also, I'd say, an intermediate to advanced uh, pattern. It's a parchment pressing pattern. So those are the things that I am teaching. So uh, let's see. Let's take some questions now. Amelia, do you see any questions? Or I can kind of scroll through them. It looks like, well, we've got a lot of people on today. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. It's great to have you. Hi, Janelle 
and Deborah. We've got our usuals. I really, really appreciate you, your support. It really means the world to me to see the same people hopping on and saying hello. I feel like we've developed a relationship. I feel like I know you. Um, Sweden, welcome from Sweden. It's 7 p.m. in Sweden. Um, and from Florida, Michigan, Parump. Where's Parump? <laughs> Somebody said hi from Parump. Marilyn Herbert said hi from Parump. I don't know where that is. I've never heard of that before. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm just looking. So if you have any questions ever about a project that you're working on, this uh, live video is a great time to ask me that question and I will um, respond to you live. Let's see here. Um, I know we're getting down to, I saw some questions. Okay. Jeanette Yeager said, Emily, have you and Amelia considered joining Sage Designers in their next fabric printing? Uh, Jeanette, I don't even, I'm not familiar with Sage Designers actually. So I should look into that. Thank you for the suggestion. I have no idea what that is. Um, let's see. Okay, somebody said, could you share the fabric you need? Maybe someone will come across it. I have a wholesaler near me. Well, the particular fabric that I have that I need for the Queen Bee Kit is one of the uh, Sanderson pieces that just not manufactured anymore. Yeah, it's it's just done. I I've looked everywhere online for it. Anyway, we'll figure we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see her. I'm still looking. Amelia, if you see any questions that I am, okay, if we, so someone asked a question, if we have the pattern already, will we be buying a new pattern? Um, you want to? If you want to get the update, uh, you can purchase the new pattern. Um, we're I have, yeah, gonna be distributing it for free if you already have it. Yeah, we won't be, we won't be providing an update, I don't think. Um, so don't plan on an update because the current patterns, they don't have mistakes. I just want to rework them, um, do them a little bit differently. Just because I, uh, just because I, my, my aesthetic is evolving, I guess. Um, but if you have a real concern, just email me, emily at collagequilter.com. Let's see here. Oh, we've got somebody from Latvia. Thank you for joining us. I wish I could uh, read what you've read. Oh, it, there, it's translated. It says, so glad to see you here from Latvia. Um, so Sarah just asked a good question. She said, when will the roosters and chicken patterns be launched and will it be a quilt along? So number one, I'm not sure when it will be launched. I'm trying to, I'm working hard to get it done ASAP. Um, and yes, I would like it to be a quilt along. I think that would be a really fun quilt along. I am working on, I, I want to do at least one quilt along this year. Um, I would prefer to start it in March or April, but I don't know if we'll be ready by then. So I just, I can't, I can't kill myself with deadlines. I'm really good at doing that. <laughs> I'm really good at overworking myself and running myself into the ground. Um, so I just have to pace myself. Um, Norman asked, Norma asked a good question too. Do you have a new book in the works? Yes, I do also have a new book, um, concept that I am working on very slowly. So that is also in the back of my mind. I had hoped that that would be a launch for the fall. So we'll see how I, how I move forward on that. Um, Let's see. Carol said, are you phasing out thread bundles? No, no, it just hasn't been top priority right now, but I need to restock them. Yeah, we just need to restock our thread bundles. I have obviously we've got a lot going on. So thread bundles. No, we're not phasing those out. Uh, we'll we'll keep those in, but we just need to get them in stock. Uh, let's see here. Uh, people are asking if the horse will ever come back. People are asking if the horse will ever come back. No, no. 
Um, here is, let me tell you my thoughts about the horse. Um, I am really hesitant to release a project like the horse um, because it's a really difficult project. And I don't want people to, number one, bite off more than they can chew. And number two, I don't want people getting frustrated with it. So when I release a pattern like the horse, that's a very difficult pattern. Um, I, I run the risk of encouraging people to do more than what they probably should be doing and, or would enjoy doing. It's, it's a time consuming project. And so those are the reasons as a businesswoman, I'm thinking I need to be really careful with that, that type of pattern because I don't want customers getting frustrated. Um, so that's, that's the d dilemma with the horse. Um, but we do, there is a lot of demand for it. And that's another dilemma. Like, oh, so anyway, those are, those are my thoughts. At the moment, it's not a top priority. You might see the horse come back again. But I, I think it's okay as a business too, to, there's an exclusivity. It's okay to phase things out entirely and be done with it. Like, it's yeah. okay to move on. From yeah, it. it's okay to move on. It's okay for us to move on and focus on something else, which is, um, you know, we're running the business as a really small business. We inventory all of the patterns in our studio. Um, so we have limited space. And those constraints, those space constraints also dictate that I can't continue to keep everything in stock. It's okay to phase them out and go on to the next project refresh. and refresh. I like the idea of refreshing and keeping things interesting and updated in my uh, collection. So a lot of people are asking if we, what patterns, what the difficulty level of patterns is. If you click on, I just updated this last okay. week. Okay, I'll, I'll mention yeah, that. that. Okay, so a lot of people have asked questions about the difficulty level of patterns. Um, this is something that we just updated on the website. So every single product page now has, well, they did before, but Amelia updated them. Everything has been updated. We went through everything and I said, okay, this is a you know beginner. This is a confident beginner. This is a beginner intermediate. Um, this is intermediate. This is intermediate to advanced. So all of that, when you click on a product page, it will indicate what the difficulty level is on that pattern. So does that answer the, does that answer the question, Amelia? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully we've addressed that. And that's really important for me again, because I don't want people to feel frustrated and I want beginners to feel confident that they can buy a certain pattern and know that it's not outside of the realm of possibility to get done. So Nancy just asked a question. She said, I'm late. Uh, can you recap at the end or, or can we rewatch re the video? Um, yeah, the video, these live videos are always uh, available to watch on YouTube, on the YouTube channel and in the Facebook group and Facebook page too, right, Amelia? What was that? The, wh where are we streaming the videos? Facebook, Facebook. Facebook page, Facebook group, okay. and YouTube. Okay, so three destinations, the Facebook group, which is Collage Quilter Academy Facebook group, that's specifically for Emily Taylor patterns, and then the Collage Quilter Facebook page and the Collage Quilter YouTube channel are where you can always catch these videos. Uh, let's see, so someone just asked, um, is it possible to buy just the pattern of the cardinal? Isn't it a, it's a, download. it's a download. Okay. So if you are looking for the pattern only, it's available as a download on collagequilter.com. Norma just asked if we already have the Woodlands pattern, can we buy the reworked layout? Uh, can we just buy the reworked? 
yeah, we'll we'll figure something out. I haven't figured out the logistics, and I'm not going to worry about it right now because it's down the road just a little bit. But um, we'll uh, we'll figure out a great solution for you. Um, again, somebody asked, "Can I buy the cardinal pattern? I find shipping is too expensive." Yes, download it. We've got a whole section of downloads available on collagequilter.com. Let's see. Can you give some ideas on how to pick designs for overall quilting when the collage part is all completed? Yeah, I like that idea. Um, I think that would probably be a, a, a tutorial about how I approach quilting these designs. So if you'll be patient with me, Lori, I think we'll dedicate an entire uh, 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes to that in a separate tutorial in my live video. Um, would you recommend octopus garden as a beginner pattern? So somebody just asked, would you recommend octopus pattern as a beginner pattern? Probably not. I would say that's definitely an, an intermediate pattern. Um, although some of the elements are easier than others. So the elements that are super, super easy in the octopus garden pattern, um, you know, you could get started on the seahorse. The seahorse looks really complex. It's very, very simple. So that's a beginner design. The starfishes are a beginner design. So what I would recommend if you're just dead set on doing this one, start with these small little projects and get a taste for, you know, how to do it. Um, I think the then the next difficult level, difficulty level one is this one. And then I would say the octopus is next. And I think the most difficult little creature on this one is probably the crab. So those are, the, that's kind of the order of difficulty. So um, I don't think they're super advanced, but they require some knowledge about what you're doing. So that's my recommendation. Uh, somebody just asked, what is the difference between a parchment pressing pattern and a foundation pattern? My foundation patterns are, uh, they have a foundation panel panel um, of white cotton that has been printed with the design on it already. So it's really like you're getting a coloring page that's a piece of fabric and you just see the design in gray tones and you just select your fabric and apply your fabric based on those gray tones. You apply them right to that foundation panel. Now a foundation panel, the design is set for you. You can't create your own composition and the size is set. They are fantastic for good beginner. You know, my favorite beginner pattern is the Clementine. In fact, hand me that one that you're, it's right, right behind your chair. You're sitting on it. So my favorite beginner pattern is this. Uh, this is a foundation panel. So you can see there's the, you can kind of see the gray tone sticking out. This is something that I've used as a demonstration. Um, so this is what a foundation panel is. A parchment pressing pattern is built. Uh, we don't use a foundation panel at all, but we use parchment paper. So the design is then constructed on parchment paper, and then it's peeled away like this. So we do the design on parchment paper. Then this allows me to peel away the design and put it on a background fabric. And then I can create the composition that I want, as well as uh, manage the size that I choose. So that's the difference. Uh, let's see. I hope that answered the question. So Megan, um, just ask, what do you recommend for a first project? I would recommend either, um, I think this one is a great project. This Winter Cardinal project is great because it is a, it's a kit. I have curated the fabric for you. So this is a good one. Or as I said, that Clementine pattern is my favorite, um, my favorite beginner pattern. Uh, let's see here. Are there any other questions, Amelia, that you can see that I've missed? So Paula asked a question, will your fabrics be with Riley Blake designs again? Nope, I am launching my own fabric company. So I will be the manufacturer and the designer and the distributor. So 
if other shops want to buy my fabric, I will wholesale it to them and I will also retail it directly to my customers. Uh, let's see, how long until your fabric line is for sale? I don't know, I'm working as hard as I can. The interesting thing about designing fabric is once I get the designs all finished, the what I'll do is I'll submit my designs to the manufacturer in Korea that I've selected. So I've already been working with him and um, he will print out what I need, print, print things out. They're called strike offs. So he'll send me strike offs. I will look at the color and make sure everything looks okay. And when I give my approval on the strike offs, then I tell him, okay, we're ready to go to print. And here's the quantity that I want. And so because he's in Korea, there's quite a process involved. So even if I get the designs done in two weeks, then I submit them to him. It's a turn, there's a month, at least a month turnaround time. Well, several weeks turnaround time to get the strike offs back. Then if I need to make any changes, um, that is going to tack time on because we need to get an additional set of strike offs. So it's a little bit of a process. So I, I don't know exactly when we'll be able to get the fabric available. And I wasn't going to reveal that until I'm a little further down the road, but this is the live video where I'm talking about what I, what's going on. So I thought I'd tell you, uh, let's see. Charlie asked, um, or Char or Char, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Is it possible to buy the background fabric only for the winter Cardinal? Unfortunately, no, it's only sold in the kit and in the kit are 20 pieces of fabric in the green and black and orange and uh, the red uh, six inch squares and then the background fabric. So there, we're not going to, we don't sell the background fabric separately. Um, let's see if there are any other questions. Um, Let's see, any chance you're going to create a fabric that can replace the green floral in the octopus garden quilt? Um, the funny thing is the octopus garden quilt, I actually have this fabric. So here's an example of something. I had this kit available. I have plenty of this fabric and I've been able to acquire the rest of it, but I can't get this fabric back. So. That's one of the issues in relying on other fabric manufacturers because sometimes they'll sell out and they don't restock it. Meanwhile, I've built a quilt on it and I can't get one simple, stupid piece of fabric again. So that makes me crazy. Um, so anyway, I, I don't know what <laughs> the crazy thing is that I do have a lot of this fabric still. And it's sold in my fussy cutting bundles, in one of my bundles. I know the fussy cutting bundles are out right now, but we'll be um, cutting and getting those available again soon. Barbara just asked, will you be doing any more demonstrations on your in your live studio? Yes. So we have a schedule and the schedule will rotate for every single, every single Monday, it will be something different. Um, well, there's about four different variety. So we've got the tutorials that we do, the what is Emily working on, just kind of a, a preview of what I'm working on, um, giveaways, and what was, and then a creative challenge. So I think next week is probably a creative challenge. Um, so those are kind of, we're kind of rotating through those. So there will be another live um, tutorial coming up, but it will be in February. Uh, you can also see the schedule for the live tutorials on my events page, uh, my events right now, calendar. Though. We're behind, though. We I, haven't, I, I haven't decided what we're doing yet, so I haven't updated it. Okay, so we will update that. But on the events calendar, you'll be able to see what the schedule is. Um, Okie dokie. Okay. Amelia, do you see other questions? Somebody said my hair looks really great today. Thanks. I don't I don't <laughs> straighten my hair very often, but as I said, I'm going out of town, so I thought I'd fix myself up a little bit. Uh, let's see. A 
Amelia. Um, I'm looking at questions. Can I, someone said, can I share a YouTube video with my quilting guild? I would then direct them to you to buy kits and patterns. Okay, great question. Somebody just asked, can I share a YouTube video that I've created with a guild? And um, yeah, the, the videos are there for your use. Um, obviously, I want to benefit as the business owner, but I think part of the benefit that I get is just the exposure from, you know, a YouTube video. So be my guest. You're welcome to share the video. Um, I also do trunk shows. So if your guild is interested in a virtual trunk show, shoot me an email. Um, I actually did four trunk show. <laughs> Or <laughs> I did three trunk shows last week and taught one virtual workshop. So I had four virtual events last week. Um, so anyway, if you are a guild president or work, you know, a member of a guild and you're interested in hearing my trunk or seeing my trunk show uh, lecture and how I got started doing what I'm doing, that is an option as well. Okie dokie. Um, Amelia, do you see any other questions? I think it's good. Okay, so somebody asked, can we still download Skellington? Yeah, I linked it. Okay, yes. Skellington is available. And let me also tell you, a lot of the patterns that are not available as physical patterns, some like some of the patterns that we phase out as physical patterns, uh, we'll continue to keep as downloads, but not like horse or adoration, but not the horse or adoration. Those are, Those are too difficult for downloads. Um, Vicki asked about the bear pattern. The bear pattern is retiring and it is not in one of the books. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see here. What is the difference between lights? Okay, this is going to be my last question, and then I got to go because I got to pack up. <laughs> uh, what is the difference between light steam seam two and steam seam two? Okay, um, steam the the company that makes steam seam, the warm company, has several versions of steam seam that product. Generally, it's the same type of product, but when you see light attached to it, it's a thinner product than the original. In fact, they, they, it kind of makes me crazy because you can find Steamaseam, you can find Steamaseam 2, and you can find light Steamaseam 2, which is just like, could you just figure that out? It makes me crazy. So basically, they are you can use any of those products. They are all double-sided fusible web. They all have that temporary adhesive that I really, really like. Uh, but the light steam seam two is just a thinner product. So it's going to be less stiff in a finished project. And that's why I like it. And that's why I use it. So there you go. Okay. I know many of you probably have additional questions and I apologize that I have to run. I have a plane to catch. <laughs> So some of you I will be seeing in California and for the rest of you, I will be back here next week with, I believe it's a creative challenge. We said, right? Yeah. <laughs> we think <laughs> we'll let you know, we will announce it. So thank you so much for joining me here in my studio live. Oh, I'm going to tell them one more thing that we're going to do. One more, one more thing. What? We're going to invest in some real streaming equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hopefully soon um, the video quality and presentation will look better. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I hope you enjoy your holiday and we will see you 